will be the Dynascape Design webinar for the Dynascape Design software version 6.4 update. My name is Mike Tripp with the Dynascape Sales Department, and uh, I'll be walking through a couple of the uh, things that are going to be released in the 6.4 update and uh, where to find them. So some of the things we're going to cover in this webinar will be the uh, uncluster tool, uh, and that's a new feature, so the ability to uh, undo or reverse clustering of uh, library fi figures and symbols, uh, the ability to rearrange figure library lists uh, and rearrange the categories for the figure libraries that all appear in the software, uh, the Excel export uh, ability from Dynascape, there will be uh, an additional column of unit pricing added, the SketchUp 2015 compatibility, so being fully uh, compatible on the uh, SketchUp export, as well as some AutoCAD updates. So we'll get right into the design software right now. And uh, what you'll find in the uh, design software under the edit toolbar is the new clustering, unclustering tool. So uh, that'll look very much like the clustering tool that'll appear on the left-hand bar here with a blue arrow over top of it. So um, one of the uh, major things to remember in, for the unclustering tool will be it's actually only uh, going to work on figures that are clustered in 6.4 and um, re more recent and newer. So if you uh, go to uh, do an update or a cluster on uh, software from an older version or design from an older version, what you're actually going to get is a message at the bottom here saying that the uh, figures were not uh, able to be unclustered uh, and need to be created on 6.4 or later. So that's one thing to consider. So you do need to be doing the clustering uh, with the new version of the software. So if I switch into a uh, different drawing here, and uh, we'll, sh we'll walk through what that actually looks like. So on uh, this design, what I've got is a um, cluster of uh, figures here that are um, grouped together. And so all I need to do is simply click on the uh, uncluster button, select the group I want to use, and right click, and that will uncluster everything for me. So that'll allow me to uh, remove symbols from this group or uh, rearrange it or, or move them to different areas on the drawing, perhaps. Um, so again, the uh, clustering process remains very similar, so I can just select these group of figures here and cluster them. And then to undo that process, I can simply click on the tool or even just have the uh, tool or the cluster of figures pre-selected and click on the tool and that'll do that for me there. So very simple. Uh, the other update that was in here is um, if you go into your uh, figure library on the left-hand side here, typically what you were always able to do is rearrange your uh, figures themselves within a category and, and uh, move them around or delete them. Uh, but there was never the ability to move the categories themselves up and down on this list for ones that you may use more often than others. Uh, we've also expanded the list here for um, ease of, of access for the different uh, categories and making it so you don't have to scroll quite as far. Um, but to rearrange those uh, categories, what you would do now is go into your tools menu here, and there's a library manager. And um, so this is where I was mentioning before where you could always rearrange the placement of the figures and uh, move them around within the category. But if I wanted to actually move the categories around, I would click on the sort button at the top here. And now you'll get a list of all of the different categories of figures you have on your, um, in your software. And so now I, what I can do is uh, select any number of them. So say I'm going to use my uh, pool symbol more often. I'm going to click on the up button here, and it'll move it up one step. And I can keep doing that as far as I want up until uh, it reaches the top of the list. I can also do that for uh, moving things down uh, in the list. If uh, groups uh, or categories that I'm not going to use quite as often, I can move that back down on the list. And then click OK, and we'll close out of that. The other update that was uh, occurring in this uh, version is going to be the ability to um, export your plant material list into Excel, which has always been uh, a feature. But then when you do that, if you have um, plants in your de uh, design that have pricing associated with it, you'll now actually see a unit price column. Um, historically, before, all you saw was the total price, the calculation of your quantity uh, times your unit price. And uh, this export now will show you that uh, the full breakout of your, your pricing that you got from your design uh, plant database. And um, the last couple uh, tweaks and features we've got in here is the ability to um, obviously have your design fully com 
compatible uh, on when you do an export into SketchUp with SketchUp 2015, which is the most recent version of SketchUp. Um, so if you do that, you'll be able to, uh, to run it on SketchUp 2015 and uh, later versions as well. And uh, the other update was uh, importing and exporting into AutoCAD uh, from an AutoCAD file. Uh, older versions were um, not able to handle larger AutoCAD drawings as well. You may uh, have had issues moving objects around or uh, have objects not appear properly. So that's all been fixed in this update as well. So that's, uh, sum, that sums up the uh, 6.4 update for everyone. If uh, anyone has any questions about uh, where to find the update or to do, to do the update in the software, you would go into your start menu at the bottom here, go into Programs, Dynascape Design, and check for Dynascape Design Updates. Again, uh, my name is Mike Tripp with the Dynascape Sales Department. Uh, you can contact us at the phone number above there, or the support extension is 278 for anyone having issues with the software at all. Thank you very much for attending, and uh, we'll uh, be able to talk to you soon.